Okay, so as you're checking your work, what? your matrix or box might look different from mine. Yeah. For yeah. both of these, I took the first polynomial okay. and I put it down the side, and I took the second one and put it here. But it doesn't matter, it's going to come out the same either way. It just what's inside might be in different places. Completed, this was 9x squared minus 38x plus 8. Thumbs up on that? Let me see. Okay. Second was 12x squared minus 23x plus 10. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Let's do the trinomial times the binomial then. Um, this looks too easy to do. Like um, right now, I want you guys to put the trinomial going down the side. And we're going to put the binomial going across the top, just because that's the way I already had this set up. You could have done it the other way. There's no rule saying that the first term, the first polynomial has to go down. It could go across. It doesn't really matter. Okay, and we're going to start filling this in. What's this going to be? 2x the third. 6x squared. Negative. 10x, negative 8x squared, negative 24x, and positive 40. I have two sets of like terms in my diagonals. There's a set here with the x squareds, and a set here with the just x's. 6x squared minus 8x squared is going to leave us with negative 2x squared, negative 10x minus 24x is going to give us negative 34x. So our answer is 2x to the third, minus 2x squared, minus 34x, plus 40. Yeah, but you were supposed to do these two. Great. But I wanted to make it harder, so it doesn't mean that we can do these by the time that we can do these. Okay, the way this box is set up, we're going to put the binomial down the side and the trinomial across the top. 10x minus 1. What's going to go above this box? Minus 2x squared. Minus 2x squared plus x minus 5. We're going to multiply these two. I really want you guys to picture this. It's like a times table. Mm -hmm. Remember how when you were little and you had the times tables and you ran your fingers because you didn't want to lose track? That's really what we're doing here. Negative 2 times t positive 10 is going to be negative 20. X squared times X is going to be? X to the third. Negative 2x squared times negative 1 is going to become positive 2x squared. 10x times x, 10x squared. And then negative 50x. Negative 1 times positive x is going to give us a negative x or 1x. You can write it in if you want. Negative 5, negative 1, five. positive 5. Do I have like terms diagonally? Yes. Here and here. Okay, so 2 and 10 is going, I'm just going to write that. I don't like them this way actually. I like them long because I don't have room to write my like terms very well. 12x squared, negative 51x. So, what's my first term? Always first term is one with the highest exponent. So negative, and I said negative, but I didn't write it. Negative 20x to the third plus 12x squared minus 51x plus 5. Yep. I agree. Done. Yes. Who's feeling okay about these? Yep. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Here's the weird thing about getting this into our notebooks. Because I photocopied them wrong, 
I want you to take it and cut it in half and we're going to glue, glue this down and glue this on top. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to take the paper that has nothing on the back and across the top of it, I'm just going to put, if I can get my glue to work, some like four dots across and I'm going to glue that lower on the page. And then this one, I'm going to glue it this way. So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the bottom, which looks like I'm doing this wrong sided, but that's because I copied these wrong. When I glue at the bottom of that last problem we just did, sorry, off screen, and let me zoom out. Zoom out. I'm going to end up gluing this here above it. So it's kind of like a little flip book. You could. I don't have a lot of tape, but I have a lot more glue. I would say the problems you practice tonight, you can do them under here. I'm only going to give you a few, and you can do them on the back of this blank page and here so that they're all in your notebook. What? Okay, this is 7 8 in your book, which is multiplying polynomials. We're doing page 517 numbers. Huh? Huh? got it wrong. 13 to 17. You get that is wrong. That's I'm still correct. recording, Jaden. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. And yep. 19 to 21. Yep. It's eight <laughs> problems. <laughs> they should fit on the back of this and in this space. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.